it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I thought I would add to my how to stay chic in the heat video because there were a couple of tips that um, I think I missed in that video and a couple of questions that I got from you in the comments. So uh, I thought I would create a second video. I'm going to link the first one uh, down below. It's called uh, what to wear when it's too hot to wear clothes but you still have to, which I feel like is how a lot of us feel in this incredible summer heat. So um, let's jump on into these extra tips. So I talked a lot about silhouettes that breathe as well as fabric choices for the heat, but I didn't mention color. Choosing a light reflective color is so important simply because it won't absorb the heat and that won't get transferred to your body. If you're not a huge fan of white or creams because they're too prone to getting stained, then I would head over to some pastel options options or just lighter hues of colors that already work on your skin tone. And you can also look for prints in lighter hues as well. I find prints are great at camouflaging stains, including sweat stains. My next tip is about footwear. I really think if you have cool feet, then that contributes to the rest of your body staying nice and cool. Some of the greatest fabrics I think to wear on your feet are things like cotton or a rattan. You could find a really cool Oxford or Brogue with a really neat rattan um, upper, which could be very cool, or the classic S Pedri is just perfect for that breathability with the cotton on top. My next tip is to really get the most out of your swimwear and try and incorporate it into some fun summer outfits. Whether you do this with a full one piece or a bikini top is totally up to you depending on your style and the look you're going after, but I find this is a great opportunity because swimwear often comes in fun colors that we might not normally incorporate into our basics or our summer wardrobe. I only had one bikini and it's black, but that is why I am so excited to have partnered with Cura Swim for this portion of the video. They have kindly sent me a bikini that I found on their site that I absolutely love and adds the perfect punch of color, not only to my very minimal swimwear collection, but to some fun basic outfits. If you've never heard of Kira Swim, they are an Australian company that has amalgamated some incredible independent swimwear designers. So they've got a beautifully extensive list, but it's really well edited. So what I love about this is that it's really helped me discover independent designers that I would have not found any other way. All of the swimsuits that are featured on Kira's Swim have a conscious or responsibly made component. Whether it's on the humanitarian side, locally made, ethical labor practices, all the way to some environmental factors like recycled fabrics, which I really love to see. I will leave Kira Swim's uh, link in the description box below so that you can check them out. Now, getting into the bikini itself, I have to just show you because I, I just love it so much. It is from a brand called Cleone. Their swimsuits are made to order, so it really reduces the amount of wastage and dead stock, and their swimsuits also have a percentage of recycled fabric content. Now, you might be wondering, OMG, does this actually fit you? Because right now, it looks like it could only fit a small percentage of my body. Like, I don't even know, does this even cover half of my thigh? I was a little intimidated, not gonna lie. But have a look! It is an incredible stretchy fabric, which is so incredibly comfortable. I've always wanted swimwear that fits on the body like underwear, you know? It just sits on your body, it doesn't dig in. I styled this crop with a nice loose shirt on top, but I also made sure to style it with some high-waisted pants to give it that little bit of modesty and to make it look not so much like a bathing suit top. The size that I'm wearing is actually a one size. I think because of the crazy amount of stretch, it can be flexible. However, Cura Swim offers sizes that go all the way to an H cup. So I really like that there is also that wider range of size as well as an eco-minded and more conscious focus. In a somewhat similar vein to swimwear, undergarments play a huge factor in how hot or cool we stay in the 
warmer months. My personal preference in terms of bras is to, you know, forego them all together if that's an option for you. However, I know for a lot of us it isn't. So what I look for is a thicker composition of material, always in something breathable like cotton with a little bit of spandex for that stretch. This seems a little bit counterintuitive because it feels thicker. I do find that a thicker composition does provide the support that I need. I also look for a cotton bra that has a thick band at the bottom. Not only is this a lot more comfortable in the hot weather, but it also helps disperse the weight of your chest, making it a more supportive bra. My absolute favorite is my triangle bra from Organic Basics. It has all of the good qualities that I just mentioned. This isn't sponsored. I just have really been using this bra throughout the summer and find it to be the most comfortable and cooling option. I specifically look for underwear that has no seams or that is a nude. I think it's just so much easier to not have to worry about whether you're going to see your underwear through your lighter fabrics. Finally, I touched on sunglasses a little bit in my last video. However, I really wanted to reiterate how outfit changing and impactful sunglasses can be, especially because I find sunglasses tend to retain their style for longer, even if they are very trend based, because they're such a small part of your outfit, it really looks more intentional if you've got a more retro or vintage inspired pair, or even a pair that's only maybe five or six years old. It can really kind of add a little bit of personality without throwing your whole look off or making the whole look appear dated. For example, if I put on these Etnia Barcelonas, they're very classic, they have a little bit of a vintage feel. However, if I add a pair uh, like these eco frames, the look is instantly more glam, a little bit more futuristic and contemporary. They still have a pretty solid retro vibe because of the shape of the frame. However, it gives a very different energy and a very different feeling to this simple t-shirt. I actually have a discount code um, with eco frames. I will leave that in the description box below as well. So I often find sunglasses are some of the last things we put on when we're running out the door in the summer, but I think they can be just as important as footwear in changing up a look. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and those tips. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. A huge thank you again to Kira Swim for sponsoring a portion of this video. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will be taking a very short break, so there won't be a video next week, but I will be back in September with more slow fashion videos. Thank you so, so much again for watching. Ciao.